Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Pinewood Hills in Planet Coaster. It's been a bit of a while since we've been in here. Uh, well, it's not been that long. I mean, we had a video not too long ago where we showed off the awesome work by uh, Mike Sheets. Uh, he did some incredible work on the, well, all over the park, to be honest, but the big thing he did uh, was work on the uh, the promenade there on the lake. Really awesome stuff. Uh, I hope you went over and checked out his channel afterwards. If you didn't, the link is in the description. Please make sure you head over because um, he's really making some awesome stuff in this game and also is way on a track to make some awesome stuff in Planet Zoo as well. He was away for the beta, unfortunately, but I just know he's going to kill it in that game. So make sure you head over there and, uh, and give him some love. I'll place his link in the description. Uh, but what are we doing today? So first time I've actually built in the park for a good long while. And I'm starting the final area of the park, uh, which is going to be an adventure uh, themed area that is based around the... Um, the awesome SLC that we got built for us there and a couple of flat rides as well uh, and it's going to be a later addition to the park it's going to be sort of probably put together early 2000s I would expect and has got a slightly high uh, higher budget than some of the other areas but but still I wanted to really get that sort of lower budget um, feel across so whilst it is still uh, adventure themed uh, it's nowhere towards the level of something like Azori Gardens or, or the parks that Azori Gardens is based on things like Bush Gardens and Islands of Adventure that have a very sort of uh, really high fantasy high level theming of adventure here we're going for a bit more just some stucco and some wooden uh, beams and some barrels like that, that kind of level of theming um, I just remember going to uh, Lightwater Valley in Yorkshire and they have a pirate area and I remember just thinking wow pirate is a really great theme to do if you want to do a, a, an area that's themed and cheap because it's basically rope and wood uh, and it's really simple to do you just have rope netting everywhere wooden planks everywhere um, so that's kind of what we're going for here the sort of idea of an adventure style themed area um, but but a much lower budget than uh, than some of the other stuff I've done in uh, like I say in Azori uh, it's actually quite tricky to do that to be honest in this game I find it's really quite tough to and it's something I'm not going to tie myself down with when it comes to Planet Zoo uh, which is this sort of extreme budget that I've tried to do here although the budget has kind of got away from me a little bit with Pinewood I think it has in, in all the budget parks that we've tried to do to be honest with you I know I know um, a few other people who've, who've gone for this sort of tight budget park and it ends up getting away from you a little bit because you want to make nice looking stuff, right? And sometimes uh, it does kind of get away with you. Uh, but one thing I have really noticed is it is really quite tricky to, to make stuff in the game that looks budget and not that you're bad at Planet Coaster. Okay, so it, it's really tricky to get that, that, that fine line of, no, I wanted it to look plain, I wanted it to look simple. It isn't that it's plain and simple due to my lack of ability. That's really, really quite a difficult thing to do, and it's something I really don't want to have to worry about necessarily with Planet Zoo, at least to begin with. Um, zoos in real life are super janky. I mean, you think theme parks have got janky bits, Zoos are like zoos will have will think nothing of just sticking a shed somewhere. Like literally, they're just like, oh, we need a shed here. We'll put a shed in because the core of a zoo always is the welfare of the animals. Um, and if they need some space for animals and they need something, they need a building for animals. It's got to be serviceable for the animals before it's anything else. Um, and it's one thing that that's really going to be quite tricky, I think, to do in the game and make it look good. Um, so to start off with, although we're not going to be doing crazy fantasy builds um, the the uh, Lima's Lima Islands that really Renkamel did in the beta the Pandora style islands come to mind they look great but that just isn't really my bag you know um, so we are going to be trying to uh, think about realism and sort of placements of staff areas and all that kind of stuff but I'm not going to be tying myself down to say oh this is a cheap park this is a budget park you know it doesn't have much money um, because I do think that as much as I've really loved Pinewood and I think it's got some of the best things I've done in the in the game some of the best stuff I've made uh, as a youtuber um, I don't necessarily want to tie myself down as hard uh, as I did with that one uh, in the future at least not to start off with anyway but I feel like I'm being negative and I, and I shouldn't be because I, I really enjoyed this and it's really nice to get back into it as well Having, after having a little bit of a break away um, it has been really good to get back into it I'll be honest with you it has been tricky um, 
be just because it's not Planet Zoo. I know that's awful of me and really flippant. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, the, the Planet Zoo beta was so good. I think I think when this comes out, I've got one more beta video to go. Like I plowed that stuff. Like I played that that game so hard for two weeks. It was kind of crazy. Um, and ever since, as soon as that finished, I, one was a little burnt out. Not in a not in a bad way. Not in a oh god, I can't play Planet Zoo again. Just literally just tired. It was just two weeks of a lot of work. I got I, I became a YouTuber so I could get away with doing an hour of work a day. <laughs> so having something like a limited beta to where obviously the, mo the more content you can get out the better uh, as far as I'm concerned with how I run my YouTube um, you know it was really quite a tiring <laughs> couple of weeks so I'll be honest with you I, as soon as the beta finished I didn't touch my computer for three days I just completely I turned the thing off and I'd already got the video scheduled and, and I just had a little bit of time away from it and then coming back in it's been kind of fun to play around with this um, although I do kind of think Amazingly, I didn't think Planet Zoo looked that different from Planet Coaster during the development, during the sort of, um, uh, you know, seeing screenshots and stuff. I kept thinking that the screenshots always look good in a, from games, right? Because they always sort of pump up the bloom a little bit and probably run it through a few Photoshop filters. I mean, I don't blame them. But um, I always kind of thought that, oh, yeah, it, it looks good. But it wasn't until actually getting in the game, I realized that how much, um, how advanced, sorry, the... Uh, the, the the engine has come from Planet Coaster. Like they've really done so. It's not just weather that we're getting. It's you know I, just, I genuinely think the lighting is so much nicer, um, and just in general, just the sort of the, 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 I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but they've, there's definitely some shine on the Planet Zoo graphics um, to uh, to make Planet Coaster just look a little bit. I don't know, maybe washed out? Is Maybe this isn't the right word? I don't know. Um, so that was sort of something I noticed coming in here. But it was really fun to get in here. And it was really fun to um, sort of theme the coaster. Um, I, I say, I say, I'm talking about it like I haven't been in Planet Zoo. If you follow the channel, you'll have seen an Azori episode go up. Um, but actually, all of this that I'm doing here was recorded before I did any of that Azori work. Um, because this was done while... Um, while Mass Bandit still had Azori. So th this is kind of how things work on YouTube, unfortunately. You have to kind of move stuff around a little bit. Um, so yeah, this was actually done not long after the Planet Zoo beta finished, actually. But I've just had that much other stuff going on and, and other videos to get out and, like I say, Planet Zoo stuff. And uh, and then we've had that Surviving the Aftermath that was quite fun for a few episodes. And um, So yeah, and then I've been playing a hell of a lot of um, The Outer Worlds this week as well. God, that game is so good. I mean, it's not something I'm going to play on the channel. It doesn't really fit the sort of geeky. Uh, brand, um, but I do occasionally play video games that I don't show on the channel. It doesn't have very often. Sorry, I've just dropped a bouncy ball I was playing with. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, the Outer Worlds, man. If you want, if you want to get that Fallout fix that you've not been able to get with 76 or even four. I mean, I quite enjoyed Fallout 4, but I know a lot of people didn't. Um, but if you want to get that sort of old school Fallout fix, that and so all that new Vegas Fallout fix, especially um, the Outer Worlds, man. What a game! Really, really uh, awesome. Having a lot of fun in that. Uh, but anyway, I've massively digressed. That just shows you just how stuff gets worked around differently, and you know sometimes we have to do different uh, running orders of stuff. Uh, but here you can see we're building a sort of QSR stand um, that kind of frames off the the coaster, but also gives a few people places to come and get drinks and stuff um, and food and what have you. And starts to get a few people over here. I think I'm limited the parts to like a thousand people at the moment, uh, just to help with performance. I can probably turn that up a little bit now. Because, um, uh, you having some beers, are you? They were, <laughs> if you heard that jingle jangle of beer in the background, it was just Nicola moving them. She's not having one, she said. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, because the, the old PC was starting to struggle. This one probably wouldn't at all now. I reckon I could open this up to like 5,000 people and they'd all come flooding in. I'm sure they have no problem. I'd do that probably just for the last video, you know, the sort of, uh, uh, the glamour shots, you know, the sort of final look over the park, which we will do. Um, which is not far off, to be honest with you. Like I say, I want to cap this area off. It just basically needs um, the station and the sort of entrance and queue area of the of the, uh, of the the coaster here. And the other flat ride that we don't do in this one, there's another flat ride to do, so we need to do that as well. And then a bit of foliage, a bit of greenage and stuff. And then the last thing we have to still do is put in... Uh, um, Pinewood Manor. So the the original concept for Pinewood Hills um, was that it was going to be uh, the uh, land on the on the outskirts of a manor house that um, that the family have used to sort of recoup some costs of 
uh, owning a stately home. Um, this happens already in the UK quite a bit. Drayton Manor, obviously, you know, clues in the name. Uh, Alton Towers, there is a stately home in the middle of Alton Towers. Uh, that's no nobody's living there anymore but it's it's a ruins pretty much but uh, all of these usually these kind of things start off as as maybe gardens or, or you know um uh sort of walk through pavilions perhaps or um, sometimes they'll maybe just start off with something like a carousel or what have you and eventually they build up and, and get larger and larger and they end up being bought out by companies and they go that way so it's how a lot of theme parks in the UK began um, and that's obviously the, the sort of style that I wanted to go for with, with this one and um, so this is kind of Pinewood Hills is going to be based around Pinewood Manor uh, and we actually have a good chunk of Pinewood Manor built I, I built it in episode 20 something of this series um, placed it down moved it one day because at the park was sort of moving across in a different direction and I've just never got back around to, to finishing it. Um, and it but it needs to go in. It's like the, one of the key points of the whole sort of law of the of the park. It's the whole sort of feel of the park. It's this um, this idea of having uh, the manor house up to the one side, you know, where the, where the, um, where the land is no longer uh, being used and having lots of heavy foliage around it and some sort of gardens as well, like a little walk through hedge maze, that kind of thing. Um, so they're the two main things that still need to happen there, really. This finish in this area, which is probably just one more episode. Uh, a lot of uh, the stuff that you'll see in this episode is a little bit unfinished. Um, this video is going out because I kind of was like, okay, I feel like I'm done. I feel like I need a couple of breaks, uh, a couple of days away from it, um, as opposed to me actually sort of finishing off an area. It was more of a, okay, I'm going to put a line under this for now. And uh, so there'll be a video some point next week where we do the second half of this area. And then, like I say, Pinewood Manor is going to be the last sort of big thing that we add in. And then probably a little bit of finishing up, a little bit of cleaning up. I really want to kind of get this done though um so there's I, i'm not gonna leave it unfinished but i'm not necessarily gonna have three videos of me sort of placing trees and doing bits of curbing and stuff i'm probably just gonna try and get it all knocked out one one day or so not necessarily worry about it being filmed um because you do have to think about stuff when you're filming time lapses a lot of people may not realize this is that you have to try and not move your uh, camera so much because if you move your camera too much the whole the whole video looks really it can make people feel sicky almost you know it, it moves around that much so you have to kind of think okay the camera's going to go here for a bit um and then i'm going to work within this frame and uh and it's, it's just little things like that that you kind of have to think about and also you know, I, I might be sitting here thinking, oh yeah, I'll place a trash can down. Oh, I bet I haven't got any trash cans over the other side and fly over the other side and start placing them down. You can't really do that with the time lapse. You have to kind of keep it uh, tight and, and neat, really, you know, and sort of really have a, an idea of what's um, what you want to get accomplished by the end of it. You see, I'm placing a couple of buildings here. Again, stuff that we've had built for so long. Uh, we're these were completely different. These were down on the on the um, the pavilion down by the the sea the, the, the lakefront uh, where Mike was working. These were originally, and then I completely pulled them out, and they've just been sat in a bit of a sort of graveyard um, until I've got somewhere to put them. And I finally found this little space, and they kind of fit with the adventure theme, kind of don't. And I kind of like the fact that they're a little bit of a sore thumb, and they don't really go. And I'm kind of okay with uh, with carrying on with that there. So. Um, that's going to be there. The only other thing I don't think we're going to be able to save the the one the one build that I would like to have got in there somewhere, but I just can't find somewhere for it to go, uh, and that's the bowling alley. Unfortunately, it didn't quite make the uh, numerous uh, revisions to that sort of area of the park, and yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to make its way into the final product. Unfortunately, uh, you'll see a place a few plants down there. Obviously, we're keeping it to pines and oaks and stuff. This is a British park, um, but then you'll will have noticed if you're eagle-eyed that I placed down a few um, palms and stuff uh, in the um, adventure area. So I really wanted a few palms there because, you know, they, they are kind of synonymous with that kind of style uh, architecture, you know, palms and ferns and jungly kind of stuff, you know. Um, and I had a look into it. We can grow palms in the UK. They don't grow particularly well. They have to be really sort of sturdy palms, really stout palms. Um, but they will grow. Uh, very often have to get wrapped up uh, in the winter, you know, to sort of bag them up so they survive the frosts, um, which is fine. So that, for that reason, uh, I've literally placed like three down, uh, and that's it. So we're going to have a little quick look now in the uh, in the overview, uh, have a little walk around and see it all in uh, all its glory. I think I'm really happy about it is just how great the SLC looks. I mean, they're not great ghosts to ride, but you know that just looks good you know you've got a really great uh, eyeliner as you, as you come down this way 
um, from Gulpy Land, but then also if you're sort of coming from, uh, obviously this all needs a lot of work, but coming from the Haunted House over here, you've got a great, sort of really imposing view of the Cobra roll there. Uh, yeah, I think overall that's looking really good. So we're going to come up into here. I don't know whether I'm going to sort of frame it with a, with a sort of uh, archway at all, with like a name of the area. I think that seems a little maybe over budget. I think it's probably better just to kind of wander into this area. Um, and I think from this level, it's looking really great. And as you can see, uh, like I just said, you know, there's a couple of ferns, a couple of palms. And then other than that, we've just got some regular sort of um, uh, more sort of uh, temperate foliage to kind of uh, make it a bit more manageable but then you've got a couple of sort of um, these like yuckery type things and stuff that can grow in the UK just a little bit trickier to, to keep on top of. Uh, I've gone for this um, eagles thing, I don't, it's not necessarily particularly adventure but I just think it's quite a cool looking ride, it looks like quite a cheap ride, uh, again sort of thing that they would use here to fill up some space and to add one to the ride count uh, and then over at the back here I've gone for something a little bit more sort of extreme um, one of these claw things and these they do have these in the UK there's one at um, uh, is it a light water yeah I think it is a light water valley actually it's called something like Raven's Claw or Eagle's Claw or something like that um, you know again just kind of pretty easy plank it down so here probably really light theme in here in fact maybe just some sort of wooden fence uh, and rope uh, there's my SLC. That's uh, that's going to get removed. The 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 manor house is going to go over there somewhere. Uh, and then oh, the other thing we had to do, of course, this was a big one. We had to um, figure out what we were doing with uh, with this uh, because it, it just it sat. I think it actually sat around here somewhere and was just stuck in the middle of something. So um, uh, thanks to uh, to Mike moving it and sorting this end out. Did this end lovely, but kind of left. <laughs> Left the other side uh, all over the place so I've kind of pulled it right in here um, I've also added on a, um, a unit where they can get stored again obviously still needs work done here it's mostly just sort of been boxed out uh, but they're gonna get stored in here at night and then here we're gonna have some um, bathrooms the rest uh, first aid that kind of thing I think I might mention this before it's very loosely based on one of the stations at Alton Towers they have this sort of uh, above ground bit here with some bathrooms and stuff underneath um, so you can either come in uh, this way from it's basically either side of the of the state of the uh, st the stage here the theatre area I suppose you can either come down this way and up the stairs or you're going to be able to come along this way and up the stairs and this will be relatively closed in with some fencing and stuff uh, but I quite like the idea of having a bit of a view here over a nice little lake uh, obviously needs some rock work and things but the view over the lake there to the new area I think would look quite nice and not necessarily out of our budget as people then come up to here to actually ride the thing um, it's again not necessarily very well planned out I guess um, but I'm not moving all this now I mean I could that would probably be the the perfect solution would be to take this stage area and maybe bring it down to here um, or you know maybe have done this differently and could have it over this way but I've just yeah and we're done we're, we're too close to the end now to start making make crazy changes like that <laughs> um, but as far as this area is concerned I'm really quite happy with how it's turned out but the backstage area we've got a mass bandits uh, old time photo booth there a little nod to my uh, Azuri partner in crime um, John there and then we've got the uh, water shootout there you see these all over the place at cheap uh, fairs and stuff arcades and a little bit of a seat in area here that I suppose is for either picnics or if people want to get some QRS food here. But I'm also, I think, going to make another larger seat in area here that's sort of directly tied to these QSR stands. I think that's the way to go about it. And then otherwise, yeah, like I say, a, a simple station here, some light fencing, and then and then pretty much we're going to be... Oh, we've also got the boomerang as well that never really found a home. Uh, I don't think will. But other than that, we're, we're kind of done there. You can really see that it's sort of get finishing off. So here's just going to be foliaged out, uh, trees all the way out. Um, the man is going to sit up here off this road. And that's going to be pretty much uh, the end of it. Yeah, the end of Pinewood Hills. I, I reckon we're three or four episodes away. It ain't getting done before Planet Zoo, but I, it is getting finished. There's no way I'm not finishing this project now. Um, it's been too much of a big part of my life and I know a lot of you folks are really invested in it as well and want to see it done. So it will get finished. Do not panic. Um, but yeah, I, don't, I can't see it getting done before Planet Zoo launches. But yeah, it will definitely be one I come back to. There's so many little things I love about it. I love the haunted house. I love the fact that we've got the sort of uh, from you know from down here you can just see a haunted house 
Uh, and then from up here you get the big show building that it's all sat in you know i think that's i'm really happy with how that came out the campsite and there's so much down here look we've got the we've got the uh and uh, the rope walks thing here um you know camp areas all of this see we do have to come back and do a little bit of work here this is all a little bit unfinished isn't it here i think i was going to do a, a play area here um, so that's probably something we might have a look at doing and then obviously when we're actually in the park as well we've got a few different wooden coasters we've got the little thunder and we've got the thunderer the sort of big uh, you know, t the big sort of selling point of the park is the old wooden coaster it's a beautiful sort of vintage area as we come in yeah I think uh, I th yeah Sparrow Wharf as well where Ruble came and did so much awesome good work and then the sort of 70s area that Mass Bandit did Super janky area here with the awesome uh, coaster there, Swartical coaster that we called Arrow, I think, is it or something? I, I forget. I'm not that heart of my coasters, but yeah, I just love all the work that people have done here. And uh, oh, and then we moved the. Uh, I showed this one, I think. I think I showed this one, did I? Or oh, I did this in a live stream. Moved the boat ride over. That was originally here, 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 somewhere, here. I think I can't remember, but it got moved. Where was the boat ride? Was it there? It was somewhere over here anyway, and we moved it over here so it ties in a little bit more with the gulpy land. And again, still needs a little bit of work doing here, but we're getting there. We're getting there, and I'm happy and I'm psyched to get it finished. Uh, and we will do next episode. Like I say, we'll we'll do this area here. That will be done. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Until the next one, be good.